So what's up guys this is Tectonic here and today I am gonna be reviewing the let me show you first otherwise that would be a spoiler and it, this is the AOSIP so let's get started and now talking about this ROM let me go to the settings again and what is this let's keep it here and this is the AOSIP version 2017-1103 that means it's I think 3rd, uh, 3rd November I think and device maintenance unknown and this is for Lenovo K33A42 as you can see this is the K6 power and if you tap on here so and processor you can see MSM8937 which is nothing but the Snapdragon 830 I, I mean 430 so Android security patch level is 5th September 2017 and as you can see everything here so again we are gonna be categorizing this into four categories the performance battery customization and at last you know the verdict so talking about the performance category in first today we are gonna be playing some games not some only one game I think which is the PUBG mobile so first let us give some review about the smoothness so I think this comes in middle of the AOS CP ROM and Lineage OS 15.1 like it is not faster than the Lineage OS but it's definitely faster than the AOS CP ROM like it's really fluid smooth experience and as you can see let me open some apps RAM management yes if you use like big apps uh, for example like PUBG, Rules of Survival, Asphalt 8 or so you may have some issues so you are gonna be checking that and gallery I don't know it does not work and this is a pretty bad bug or funny bug whatever you wanna say and YouTube does it was open and yes guys this is first let me show you this is the substratum theme engine and now we let us see here and the wallpaper is of the amulet wallpapers and if I click on here and as you can see here gallery no there is nothing like the normal wallpaper so you can't find it you have to put it on your own and that's not a good thing but again I forgot we have to do in the performance one so performance at overall I'm gonna say it's very good not as good as the lineage was 15.1 I don't know because of Android 8 or optimization or something but it does not stand that much but it's definitely faster than the AOS CP so and the RAM management is pretty good but not so good if you are playing some big games like the PUBG mobile so that may be a problem for you guys but not for me like if you happen open three to four apps I think and I don't know why my tongue slips a lot and talking about the game so let us get to one gameplay so I will just show show you up when the game is loaded okay so swipe so as you can see I have come up here and to show you the threshold of the CPU I have opened all the apps in the background and let us get into a normal tutorial ground so to make you sure and this took very long time to load I don't know for what reason but uh, it somehow loaded like it took me about one minute or so I think because of the apps running in the background or I really don't know the reason but still and as you can see here I am playing on the lowest settings and it does run pretty smooth like let me show you the 8x1 and I need a gun for that sorry for no sound this time because I needed to get a microphone too so the moment I get microphone I'll be using the internal audio as well and as you can see um, let me keep it here 
and as you can see ATX works fine like you can shoot pretty much anything and and this is the only game for now guys and I will be downloading other games as well and will be reviewing them as well so just for now this is for the check and and now from from now every other rom will be reviewed like this only so this was the total review and we will not be closing it we'll be just keeping it in the background and at last we'll be checking that it does open or not so let's close this and yes coming to the battery one and yes battery is the best here you can't compare it with the lineage os like i have to say like the lineage os can't be compared with this one because it has excellent battery life guys let me show you one quick glimpse um uh where is it battery okay as you can see you have seven hours left 78 percent and opening the screen and this is the one hour two minute 31 seconds and screen and pubg mobile both have both share the same time so you can easily suggest or you can easily find out that you will get somewhere about seven to eight hours of screen on time like i think it may go to six two if you are a very heavy user five to six hours for very heavy usage and for moderate like me you can get uh, at least eight hours of screen on time so that's a very good thing like in lineage you they showed you that you will get about 10 hours but you will get only about six to seven hours so that may be an issue and uh, in the battery one i won't now onwards i won't be giving any review like 10 out of 10 0 out of 10 you guys only decide that what is the best what score you want to give this so now coming to the last section and the customization and this is the part where this rom shines out as you can see here let me get you where it is yes AUSIP tweaks you can see the strap substratum theme engine and let me open it supports it fully I have the pitch black open so you can see green and blackish color here wish I had the AMOLED screen so it worked better and coming into settings again you have Valve's net so so nicely it's categorized for customizations and if you open only one you have so many customization like almost everything is there and you can directly compare its customization to the resurrection remix which is the king of customization for now yeah cyanogen mod i don't think it's continuing now so everything is there like notification led recent apps which type you want advanced settings and the ot updates are supported it's showing me null because there is no ot update for now so when it will be there you can easily update it so in the customization i can't say much more because i i will let you guys to explore it yourself if i'll show you every customization then no use you explore yourself and super super perfectly works and at the last about the verdict and what i am telling is here the bugs some are major some are not that major so let us start with the bugs now coming to the first one when i press the long press the home button or sorry the power key and if i click on the power off it will show you as the restart again let me show you if i long press the power button so sorry guys i actually closed it and uh, continuing the fire then if you long press the power button and you will just click on the power off i mean not like that power off and it will show you the restart one so technically you can't switch off your device i can say that much only if you want to switch off go to the twrp mode and just power off from there so this is the one bug it may be major for some guys not for others and second major bug is the touch sometimes does not work okay sometimes when you're not you're playing game like in the home screen i mean the lock screen sometimes the touch does not work and you need to unfortunately restart your computer and what i am saying here 
I it should be the phone I have been using computer like three hours from now so whole computer thing in my mind and leaving that everything else is fine yeah Volti does work perfectly here no here and there issues and battery everything is there and sometimes the share it does not work at all and as you can see this is the minor bug here that gallery does not sometimes it does work but sometimes i don't know it does not work i don't know about this thing like gallery but everything is supported it's a very stable rom so you can go and check it out all the links will be the in the description box so go check there and giving the total review i'll give it this out as a 10 out of 10 because i don't care about whatever it shows on the power of thing and gallery i hate gallery i use my own gallery guys so leaving that everything works fine and comparing to the new roms which i reviewed recently this one stands out as the winner this is my favorite rom now till now and more rom reviews coming soon guys so please stay tuned for that and if you like my video please hit that like button and make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so stay tuned and bye bye